For most people, writing an affiliate ad takes a long time and a lot of effort. But that's because most people write their ads the traditional way. They start by opening a blank Word document and then carefully craft a convincing written sales pitch and then upload it to their site by hand. And if you do it this way, not only does it take longer and more effort, you rely on your technical, your writing and your sales skills in order to get your ad profitable. What I'm going to show you today is a way to create an ad almost instantly using the copywriting tools inside Market Samurai's monetization module. In fact, once you're set up and you know how to use these tools effectively, the whole process takes just a few minutes. Let's take a quick tour of the copywriting tool inside the monetization module before we begin. To get to the ad creation tool, click on the Start New Campaign button after you've shortlisted some products and decided which one you want to promote. The ad creation tool makes it easy to promote an affiliate product, even if you don't have writing, sales or technical skills. It does this by taking chunks out of the main web page for the product and allowing you to drag and drop them into your own ad. Now the chunks that you'll see include images, headings, sentences, paragraphs, and bullets. And these are all taken from the main web page for the affiliate product that you want to promote. So depending on how much information there is on the product page, you might end up with more or less chunks than what you see right here. You also have access to dozens of buttons that Market Samurai allows you to place into your ad. Plus, Market Samurai gives you access to ad templates that you can choose from. And these include sidebar widgets, blog posts, and banner ads. We also have a series of tools for formatting your ad, and inserting affiliate links. Let's start off by choosing the ad template for our ad. I'm going to choose the sidebar widget option here. Now this is good for short ads just a few sentences long that you can publish to the sidebar of your blog. The reason I like sidebar widgets is because they get seen on all of your blog pages. So if you publish an ad to your blog anyone who visits your blog will be able to see your ad. So it's a quick way that you can monetize your entire blog or make money from every page. You might also choose the banner ad here for the same reason. If you want to go into more detail though and write a longer review or a sales letter for a product, you'll want to choose the blog post option because this template allows you more room to go into much more detail about your product. When you have an ad template selected, Next, you'll want to go through to the Headline tab. Here, you'll want to make sure that you have the right product selected. And I want to promote this Catch More Trout Today product. Once I have the right product selected, I can click this View button here and be taken to the product's web page so that I can refresh my memory about what the product is about. Now, a headline is the first part of an ad that someone reads and should get the attention of your website visitors because if nobody reads your ad then you won't be able to make any sales. So what's going to get your website visitors attention? Well let's think about some of the things that might get your attention. When somebody asks you a question that makes you think, when someone surprises you or says something shocking, when somebody tells you a secret, when somebody shares big news or an interesting fact or new discoveries with you. When someone appeals to your basic human desires to make more money or to become more attractive or to avoid pain or to experience pleasure or to be loved. When someone offers you a quicker, easier way to do something. And most importantly, when someone says something that benefits you or is relevant to a problem that you want to solve. These are all ways that people can get your attention. So when we're looking at headlines, ideally we're looking for a short sentence that uses one or ideally two or more of these things. Because if something has two or more of these elements, 
it generally makes a really attractive headline. So let's look for a headline that will hook a trout fisherman, pardon the pun. And we don't need to look very far because this top one really stands out to me. The reason I like this one is it stands to benefit trout fishermen who are visiting my site. I mean, who wouldn't want to hear about a professional trout angler's secrets for catching fish? Any trout fisherman in his right mind is going to be interested in this. And because it uses the reader's sense of curiosity to draw them in by talking about secrets, it's also going to have that additional hook that we're looking for. So this would be a really good headline because it combines two of the elements that we were looking at before. Let's drag and drop that into our ad. Next we want to write our ad copy, the main body of our ad. Because we're writing a sidebar widget ad, we only have a limited amount of space here to work with, so the main body of our ad should only be a few short sentences long. But there are two things that we want to achieve here. We want to tell the reader what it is that we're offering them and how it benefits them. In other words, we want to say what the product is and then talk about the benefits of the product or the problems that the product solves. Every product is designed to solve a problem. It's the core reason that the product exists in the first place. And it's also the major reason why people buy the product, because of what it does for them. So before we begin, we'll need to think about what problems the product solves. Let's have a look at a few examples here. When people buy a cheese grater, it's not because they have a cheese problem, it's because they have a time and effort problem. You see, cutting up cheese into tiny little pieces by hand takes a lot of effort. So if you were selling a cheese grater, one way that you could sell it would be to talk about how much time and effort it saves. If you were selling a blue book, a car price guide, the reason why people buy a car price guide is to solve a knowledge problem. They want to know what a car is worth so that they can get a fair price for the car that they're buying or selling. In this example, I'm selling a trout fishing book. The reason why someone might want to buy a trout fishing book is to catch more trout. So let's have a look to see if there are any chunks of copy along these lines that can help us out here. For this, I'm going to start in the Sentences tab. Now remember, what we want to do here is we want to tell the reader what is it that we're offering them and then how it benefits them. And we want to communicate these things in just one or two sentences. So as we read through these chunks, we're looking for something that will help us to do this. I actually really like this first one here. Now this is a great reason why people interested in trout fishing should buy this product because it solves the pain of coming home empty-handed from a day's fishing which must be the most frustrating part about fishing for trout. So let's add that to our ad over here. So we found the benefit that this product offers but we still need to tell the reader what we're actually offering them. So let's keep looking. This sentence here explains what it is that we're offering, so I'm going to add that here. Remember, you can also find great chunks of text in the Paragraphs tab and in the Bullets tab. You can also insert your own text if you choose, or you can edit what you find and improve on it. I'm going to take a moment just to edit this text right now. Our ad's starting to take shape, but there's still no way for people to actually get to the product to buy. So next we need a call to action, something that tells the reader what they should do next. And this is where we can say something like, uh, to find out more, click here. 
Now this is okay, but I think we can create something even stronger here when it comes to a call to action. So how about something like, click here to get your copy right now. Now that's a bit stronger, but I think we can go even stronger if we remind the reader about the pain that they'll experience if they don't have this product. So let's delete that and change it to uh, don't go home empty handed any longer. Click here to get your copy right now. And that's much better. It reminds the reader about the pain that they'll experience if they don't have the product and asks them to take action immediately. Next, we can make this text a link so that people can click on it and go to the sales page. Make sure that you have the right product selected here and that you have your right uh, affiliate account selected here. We also have an option here to shorten and track clicks for affiliate URLs. Once we're done here, we can click the insert link button here and we see that we now have our affiliate link inside our ad. If you wanted, you could also go to the Buttons tab here and choose a bright, shiny, more information button. Now, it could look really nice here and it could attract a lot of attention and probably entice a lot of people to click, but it might be a bit much if we've already got this text link here. Still, I'm going to leave it in this ad here just to show you how it works. Now, just before we put this ad online, let's insert a product image. Click the Images tab just to see what product images we have. And there are two really nice ones here. I actually really like this one, so I'm going to drag that into the ad right here. I want it to sit on its own line, so I want to give a space just before and just after the image. Now, while we're formatting, because this is a sidebar ad and because we only have a thin space available, we might want to make these images smaller by clicking in the bottom right corner here and dragging the ad to make it smaller. We can also do this with a button down the bottom. And if you want to make them look a little bit prettier, while you've got them selected, you can click this center button here. We can also add an affiliate link on this product image here because this tends to increase the number of clicks that you get from this type of ad. Now that you've seen how it's done, it's time to create your own ad. And we'll be back tomorrow to show you how to publish it to your blog.